Hey guys, for this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to make NTR cheat plugins using the in-game menu. So this is very useful for those people who don't have a gateway, or who just don't plan on getting one anytime soon. Because this is a very good alternative, because the codes from gateway can be directly ported into NTR cheats. So that's pretty easy to like distribute them and stuff. Unfortunately, like, spider AR codes cannot be ported because they use, like, virtual memories and NTR uses physical. Or it might be vice versa, I'm not sure, but that's just too technical f stuff. So, yeah, so I'm gonna have this download in the description for menucheat.zip, and then when you right-click and extract all, you'll get a folder called menucheat, so just open that up, and then you'll have all these files. So we're going to go into the folder called Source, and then we're going to open GamePlugin.c. So if you have Notepad++ downloaded, then, all you, then you can just set it to automatically open files. But if you don't have it set to automatically open files, then just do File Open. So, yeah, that's pretty basic. So I'm just going to double click on this to open it, and then here's all my code and stuff. So we're going to go down to line 104, and then down here we have all of the actual cheats. Like up above, it was just a bunch of stuff that we don't really care about. This is the stuff that we actually need. So you can, you can add more cheats by like just copying a section of it and adding it again. But make sure you change this number. So this one's going to be 8. And then, so yeah, you can do that. You can also delete them too. For this for this video, I'm going to be deleting um, like all of them besides one. Because that's just less like clutter and stuff. So here is the actual address. So if you like find the code online or make it yourself, it'll likely be in the same format. So all we gotta do is just copy this, and then we're gonna paste it over the address. Do not overwrite the 0x, because that tells it that that's a location. So do not overwrite that, just overwrite these 8 bytes. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the value. So I'll get that from here. And then just paste it again. So, there we go, we have our code already in the game now. Well, not yet, but this is how we get our code into the game. So next, we're going to scroll down, and then at line 130, we'll start all of these. This is the name of the codes, as you can obviously tell. So, since we only have one code, we don't need all of these. We only need the first one. So... If you look at this, this is obviously a fake code, so we'll just name this, like, test code. So now we have our one cheat called test code, and we have the address right here. So now I'm just going to do file, save, and then I'll overwrite this same file, and I'm going to close out of this for now, because we're done with Notepad++. So then I'm going to go back to the menu cheat folder, and we'll still have the same files. So I'm going to run build.bat. It'll show up as Windows batch file for anyone. And then it'll automatically build it. And then this file called cheat.plugin will be created. So again, I'm making this tutorial like assuming that you guys have Python 2.7 installed and DevKit Pro. I'll make sure to put that in the beginning of the video as like a annotation or whatever. So now we've got our cheat.plugin file. So all we gotta do is copy this to a specific folder on our SD card. But what folder is that? So that's what we're gonna cover next. Since my mic is taking up the front USB port on my computer, I'm just gonna pretend that this is my SD card root. So I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call it Plugin. 
and then inside of that this is where we need to find the title ID of your game so I'm going to open up my internet browser and I'm going to go to 3dsdb.com so this will like load up eventually and then you're going to search for your game name so let's assume we're using Mario Kart 7 so we just want the normal game, we don't want a demo, we don't want a revision one or anything. So um that, so here's the scroll bar right here. And then we're gonna be we're USA, so and then our title ID is right here, so this is ours. So I'll just paste this in a notepad for now. And so now we creating a new folder inside the plugin folder and it's going to be called the title ID make sure there's no spaces or anything in it because title IDs never have spaces and then inside here we're going to paste the cheat.plugin so I'm going to go back to menu cheat and I'm going to copy the file that we just made and I'm going to paste it into our folder so there we go. Now just put this folder on the root of your SD card and then you just boot up NTRCFW and then it'll automatically load this plugin into the game as long as you're using this title ID. For example, if this plugin was for Mario Kart 7, if you booted up like Super Mario 3D Land or something, it would not load the plugin because it's a specific title ID for Mario Kart 7. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just thinking if there's anything else I gotta cover before. But, yeah, so that's how you make NTO cheats using um, the in-game menu feature. Again, these codes can be directly ported from Gateway to um, NTO, so it's, pretty, it's a pretty good alternative. So thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, comment for more.